Both of these teams coming in at 2-2. Two and two. We mentioned the overtime victories. Notre Dame over Oklahoma State and Maryland Eastern Shore over Penn and the Hawks win the tip. Looking to get a little bit better in that category. The game against Oklahoma State, that was the first time this season that Notre Dame led at the end of the first half as Kinesny nails the three. Preseason third team all MEAC. Provides some leadership for this team with a lot of new faces as here's a drive on the baseline. That doesn't fall and Marcus Burton grabs the rebound. Irish looking to push it up quickly. Roper, Kinesny looking for another. Too strong on that one. Battle for the rebound and Tay Davis comes away with it. Burton lines up a three. No good and there's the put back for Tay Davis. Ellis in the corner. Upstead looking for another three. That one's off target, and Burton with the rebound. That is the Maryland short. Both free throws good there from Tay Davis as they're on the drive. Nadozi unable to finish, and then Booth was fouled. We'll go on Israel Yao. And one of the things I see right now is a coach the length of Notre Dame. As people attack the basket, there is a lot of length Deflecting, making people make adjustments as they go to the rim, which they haven't had in the past. Shrewsbury, deep three, and he rattles it home. Good to see for Braden Shrewsbury. Yes. yes, again, I think when you see that first one go through as a shooter, it just gives you a lot more confidence. Yao tries a three and hits it. Jai down low, out to Booth for three. That one short, and the rebound taken there. Five on the shot clock, good cut by Burton. The kick out, Shrewsbury, corner three. He hits it, plus the foul. Oh my goodness. Good patience. Burton, shot clock under 10, elbow jumper, too strong. The Hawks need a bucket. Mack looking for it. Can't hit the three. And Roper nearly had it poked away. Notre Dame moving in a transition. Roper to Booth for the two-handed slam. He is advancing the ball, keeping your head up. Now he looks to his left, then he looks to his right. And if I had somebody to throw it to, I think going by the 6'10". Six rebounds, four assists. You take a look at the game summary. Statistics really controlled by Notre Dame, and then Burton gets going, of course, yeah, yeah. to start the second I, I, half. Foul there went on Elijah Wilson, his second of the night. Second team foul on UMES in the second half, as here's Burton underneath the basket. Yeah. Roper on the baseline, kicks out Shrewsbury. Nice Extra pass movement. for Imes, and he knocks down the three. Incredible ball movement against the zone, just like you would script it. Got the ball inside, inside out, made the extra pass, and had a wide open look. Yao driving hard. And Jai comes away with a rebound. Here's another guy that can shoot it. Gary Booth, yes, he can for three. That's going to open up the driving lane for Burton. And so as everybody hitting them really makes a big difference. Nadozi with the lob for Yao, nearly at the alley-oop. Good recovery there by Naboya. Now the Hawks in transition. Claxton doesn't fall. Well, again, he's one that's going to continue to get better and understand the game. As Burton, veteran move right there off the yes. window. Veteran as a freshman. Veteran move as a freshman. 12 points for him now. Notre Dame, six of their last seven from the field. Claxton with the runner. Hats off to that for sure. Here's Jai into the corner. Sanders for three at oh. the shot clock buzzer. You got to feel good about that. You got to feel good. I really like what Coach Shrewsbury's doing. He's bringing these young kids in. First points for Tony Sanders, Jr. of the season. And you see a couple of walk-ons getting ready to come in for Notre Dame. They added five to the roster. 
We'll get to see them after this. Great moment for Tony Sanders Jr. scoring his first points of the season. As best as he can. As Alex Wade had it stripped away. Started his career as a walk-on, earned a scholarship prior to this season. As Jai comes away with the board. It's Purdue by three points, so there's going to be some tough challenges ahead for this young team. Yeah, that's on the road at Marquette. That is going to be a real challenge, and Georgetown as well. Good to see some of those former rivals for Notre Dame yes. back on the schedule. Yes. Head for Raheem Brayton. Another local product yes. from South Bend. Had it stolen away for a moment. Nadozi with the dish for Okwaragwo. Raheem Brayton can dribble out the final seconds. He'll give it over there to JT Kelly. And Notre Dame with a 20-point win. Good early Thanksgiving night for Notre Dame.